I can say now, I make another house there because of this job. Of course. So this is uh, my ship life. I hope that uh, it's going to be, if somebody wants to know how is, how is um, the way to get the job and how is the life there, they, this uh, video help for something. Hello and welcome to another episode of Live Boat Sessions. Uh, today we're going to talk about the story of one of my friends on board. She started as a fork cook and she grew her career all the way to sous chef in about six to seven years. Uh, so she's going to tell us her story. So I have her here now. Her name is Norma. Hi, Norma. Hi. Tell us about like your story. How did you start it on ships or what was the moment when you decided to go on ships? How did you know about this kind of work and how was your process? Okay, first, um, when I was very young, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, because I'm still young, right? But I was very, very young. And then I start to see, because I live in Veracruz, so I wow. start to see um, some cruise ship come here because of uh, some problem in the other side of the Caribbean. I think so, some air can or something like that. So the ship come here on this time, and then the, it was a big, big ship. At this time, I was working like a waiter okay. uh, here in um, Veracruz in the tourist place. So I just start to learn a little bit English, and then at the same time I study my high school, something like that. So I see, ah, oh, one day I want to work there, and then I just start to think like this, and then I just start to check online how to get this job. So first you need to have a career, okay. but at this time. I not decide what I gonna do because I was serving like a waiter, but I was thinking I don't want to be waiter all my life. I have to be something different. But I didn't know that the waiter get a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> so you did so, the research really well. <laughs> yes, yeah, and the in the end, so I say okay, I will study something else what I like, I prefer, so just to be, to have my own career. So I decide to cook, okay. <laughs> and then I go here in the school, and then, you know, I pay, and then I work, and I pay my school, I learning this. Then when I look in online, you cannot find so many, you know, agencies or, mm -hmm. you know, office that can help you. I only found one in um, Cancun. Cancun. Yeah, yeah, we were speaking so, about that, like that before it was really complicated because there was no too much internet. There was no yes. way to like do your research or find these kind of agencies before. Yeah, also the communication was literally short than now because not everybody have internet in all the house. Um, you have to go in the internet cafe, this and that, and also things like that. So um, I can see there the, uh, how to say, the requirement. Mm -hmm. First, you need a career. Second, you need to speak English. Then you need money. <laughs> <laughs> and then everything was very complicated. Plus, you need to have one year of experience. Experience, yes. <clears throat> so this... Where is my experience? I don't have. So what to do? <laughs> so you started I from to... zero. You started from zero. From zero, from zero. So I decide, okay, I will do this. So I go and I live in Cancun. And then I arrive there with nothing. Only uh -huh. my back and myself and a little bit of money. And I find a job the first day. I went to... So you went um, for the whole adventure. Yeah, 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 yeah. A backpack, new city, <laughs> let's go for this. I do step by step. First, I finished my study here. 
in my career yeah. in the culinary school. Then I go to Cancun, I get the job, and I work one year, as the say, as the requirements say. Okay. Then um, I don't have the money yet, but I want to know what else they're gonna ask me for. So I go there, and they no, you know, the first thing you have to do is speak English. And how did you feel in that moment, like? <laughs> Because. Yeah, then they say, so you don't understand me. <laughs> they say, no, you, you need to learn more English. So when you practice, you come back. And then I say, okay, no problem. But I feel down. So I go back to Veracruz. And okay. then um, I just work in another hotel, this and this and that. I have some problems in my life, loves this, that. And then I say, okay, I will try again. Then I go again <laughs> online. Then... Um, I this um, I found this uh, link also okay. in the internet about the office is that the same office, but the different manager. So somebody made me interview from my from Miami, and they say, no, you are okay. Just don't feel nervous. Uh -huh. So if you are if you are agree, I can give you interview in Puebla. Oh, next nice. month. So you so did you your can first. You did your first interview in Cancun. Yeah, and they say no. No, because you need more English. No, and then because you did, I don't speak English. Did you did your interview directly with Miami office? And they yes. say yes. They, they say yes. So cool. they give me a they give me appointment in um I think so Holiday Inn Express in uh, Puebla. Okay. Then I I tell to my father and my family I will need some money. Because I want to do this, and then they say, if you want to do it, do it, but it's very hard. Maybe you will not get, you will lose all the money. It's okay. If I lose all the money, I will work here and I will pay you. <laughs> at least I tried, right? So I at least I try, but I, you know, the first thing I want to work on the ship because I want to know the whole work. I want yeah. to see outside i want to see how the people live in the another culture but when you reach there then you notice that you can get more than this of course for example money <laughs> <laughs> dollars <laughs> dollars so that's um you know this is great no so i i push 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 more and then i go there and they accept and they ask me so many questions how do you cut the vegetable, the name of the vegetable, the name of the sauce, the the sauce, the name of the lettuce, and this is the, my bigger surprise and everything is that I didn't know that in the world there is so many kind of lettuce. <laughs> like I thought it was just like, one. <laughs> and then you say, you know, what you eat here in Mexico? Okay, at home, no. Uh -huh. So romaine lettuce and the big lettuce, <laughs> two lettuce, kind of lettuce. Big lettuce, small lettuce, medium lettuce. Big lettuce, small lettuce. <laughs> but the, you know, the people there was very, you know, gentle, like uh, helping you, no? Because um, they know that you are nervous. Of course. So this is a, but after that, they, they told me, we will call you if yes or not and then after like two weeks i received one email you are approved but wow. you need money <laughs> and, and there's then, a money issue then, again <laughs> money issue again then i say money for what i need to pay you something and they say no you need money to prepare your pay, um how to say to flight ticket your passport your visa your, your medical exam and documents plenty things so I say, okay, I will do everything. And then I do step by step until I get the job. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so you got the email with all the information. And, but did you know that you would, that you would need to spend that much money from the interview? Or it was like a surprise for you? No, 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 no. The, from the beginning, when you are looking for the job, they told you that you will need some money for the prepare your documents. Because, okay. you know... We are young people, they know that you need help for money from somebody because it's hard, you know? Of course. It's 
not every not all of us we have you know how to say uh family with uh you know with some money. support yeah <laughs> with money <laughs> so they can, that can support you know you know my father give me you know how he give me the money oh. he gave me i remember <laughs> went um how to say gold jewelry gold uh -huh. he told me this is the money i own you when you have the money you will take it out from there so I put there in the Edisa house to borrow you money for uh -huh. the gold. And I get the money. Yes. And I tell him, wow. oh my God, I didn't know that this is too much money. <laughs> <laughs> that, one, that one item is too much money. And then as soon as I get the money again, I pay him back. <laughs> oh, and this is a, this is a plenty, plenty, you know, plenty things, plenty things to remember. Of course. This was hard, but it's not impossible. It's hard, but it's then, not impossible. Exactly. Yes, that's, that's this the is the first thing. And also, I apply for first cook. They give me four cook. So <laughs> yeah. I say I work. I work already one year for nothing, <laughs> because you know to get the experience and everything. But of course. it's okay. But you, but, so you join on ships. But let's say you already finished your documents. Uh, your family help you with the money. And I think a lot of our followers, and people that is watching this video, they will feel uh, familiar with the situation because we know a lot of us, we had to struggle with this part of investing because it's not investing mm -hmm. just a hundred or two hundred dollars, it's about a thousand dollars that it will cost you. And yeah, it's around one thousand dollars. And it's how you say, it's, it's very difficult, but it's not impossible. So you found your way. Mm -hmm. So how was the experience of like the day you have to travel? Like when you had your destination and everything, how was it? No, the day, the day come, no, very fast. They, they give me, you know, assignment like in April. And I, talk, I was talking about December. I go to Mexico City to prepare my visa. I get my also passport, all my documents. And then I say three months is a lot when see, oh my God, time coming. No? And then my mm -hmm. family don't believe me. They don't believe me until I reach there. They don't believe me because, uh, you know, it's like a impossible for us, mm -hmm. you know. How are they going to give you a job? Do you know the job? <laughs> but they trust, you, know, you need to trust that I will reach there <laughs> and I will do the job. And, and inside myself, I say, Whatever it happened, I have to support because it's written there that to leave home is very hard and to live there alone for eight months because the contract is for eight months, it's too long. And no boyfriend, heartbroken, <laughs> everything. <laughs> but when you reach there, forget about everything. Everything is wonderful. It's hard, but it's wonderful. So I was very excited. I get my assignment. I buy my flight ticket, the more cheaper one, to <laughs> Mexico City, to Mexico City, to San Diego. And my ship was assignment for Century. All right. This ship is not anymore. Belong to Royal Caribbean and Celebrity. No, I no, it's now like a Chinese company. Like a Chinese. So they send me there, and then I fly. I reach there, and then they pick up. They don't pick up me. They say that they're gonna pick up me, but they don't pick up me. So but how did because you feel? <laughs> that's like no, 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 I was, <laughs> no, because they give me the address also for the hotel and everything. Mm -hmm. And I have, you know, I take one taxi, I go there. Oh, nice. they say, so they say, yeah, your name is here. And then my English also is, was very poor. <laughs> and the, this guy in the immigration, my first time, it was one. Tall guy, I don't know where he's from, but this was black. <laughs> Tall, bigger, two meters. And then, what? Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> and then he talked to me in Spanish because he thinks that I'm stupid and I don't understand. <laughs> and then he asked me for my letter of employee. No, it was then and then I laughed. Then he said, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Go, go, go. And then he let me go. And then... I go, I take the taxi, I reach the hotel. When in the morning they pick up us and then bring us to the ship. Uh -huh. 
surprise. <laughs> we are three person, no cabin. And these three person including me. Uh -oh. And I was I was in the panic because we are a lot of people. It's my first time. I don't know anything and again money. I don't have nothing else no more, no? Only what you have to travel and that's it. Exactly. And I tell the I tell the lady, okay, this ship don't have cabin for us. So what are we gonna do now? No, no problem. One taxi gonna pick up you and you go back to the hotel and then um, you have to wait there. They will give you another ship. You have to check your MLC. I don't have internet. I don't have computer. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been very scary. Yeah, everything is scary. Everything is scary. No? And then the guy, the other guy was from Philippines. And he told me, you don't worry. The company is going to do everything for us. And then this is my second contact. Don't worry, don't worry. And I said, okay, don't worry, normal, don't worry. <laughs> I get my another assignment, I go to Summit in Puerto Rico, but I was in San Diego. <laughs> Again, you fly from San Diego to Miami. It's more than six hours to cross, you know, US. Of course, you cross the And in Miami, another immigration, and the immigration return us, and then we lose the flight. This is oh. all, only my first contract. <laughs> and then I say, if we lose the flight, how are we gonna, uh reach there the ship will go because the ship need to move and i was again panic and no 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 the guy don't worry don't worry because i find this guy on the way it's like okay. you know because... <laughs> he was your <laughs> angel no yeah now he come, he become the immigration retainers and he asked do you come together <laughs> and the guy say i say yes he say no <laughs> And it's the U.S. immigration, and I am from Mexico. This is a big problem. <laughs> and then I we, we tell the history, no? We come different, but in the end, now we are together because we go in the same place. Okay, these people let us go. The fly go also. We take another one because uh, JetBlue, very fast. No, in 30 minutes, one flight. Okay. <laughs> and then now they pick up us, we reach there, and now everything is okay. <laughs> but this day also when you reach the ship oh god help you the ship is too big you don't know what is in front what is on the back you the people bring you to your cabin and you forget <laughs> you have plenty training and you don't know what even what is training mean <laughs> <laughs> and it's given by a great guy with a weird accent <laughs> Yeah, no, and they, when they talk the first, you understand, do you understand? And we understand, right? But he thinks that we don't understand because you just come, no? And it's so many things and a lot of information, this, that, blah, blah, blah. But everybody is kind. Ex oh. For example, crew welfare always <laughs> is very kind. <laughs> like you. Who was it? Who was it? <laughs> <laughs> Always, always crew welfare, very kind, HR, always um, welcome the people with, uh, you know, with support because they know that you are losing and scared and everything. And for example, for me, the first time, all the things I have to pass until reach is okay. But when you are there, now everything is okay. <laughs> now, second part, this is only... <laughs> this is just the beginning. <laughs> This is just the beginning. This second part is like uh, you need to familiarize with your new life okay. there and to understand the rules and to live with different kind of people mm -hmm. that become your family. Of course. Like we was before you remember, we have this, you know. <laughs> Because, because, because Norma and I used to share, well, we were together on that ship and we were family. We were like sharing. Everything. Yeah. For example, this group that we have in the beginning, now we're talking about this that we remember no, always. <sighs> it's like, mi tiempo, oye, it's, what are we going to do? Or like this, um, for what this or for tonight? that. <laughs> Let's do Mexican night. <laughs> <laughs> Can it somebody cook something that remember our country? 
Yeah. It's like, hey, I made this small amount. Come here, I give you. <laughs> <laughs> I made this, is a, <laughs> <laughs> this is a things that you don't forget um, in homework, in the left homework. And yes, it's hard, but you can do it. No, this is uh, you just have to be very strong because there is time you want to cry when you try before you get the job. You want to cry because it's like impossible. You refuse like me. And then after you come back again, to try <laughs> one more time. And when they accept, it's like, <laughs> but when you really, when you really reach there, it's like, you do it. Exactly. The problem is like uh, this ship that they give me, my first, I just stuck there for three contracts. And, and the, the ship no have, it's the summit. Uh, no, it was only Bermuda, New York. That's it. New Jersey. New Jersey. New York, New Jersey. <laughs> New Jersey, nothing there. New Jersey and, uh, and Bermuda. So Bermuda, New Jersey, and this, um, how to say, this uh, southern of Canada mm -hmm. and New Sydney. This is nice. But when they ship go only New Jersey, Bermuda, New Jersey, Bermuda, oh, God. Then, I say, I come here to know the world, not to go to Bermuda all my life. <laughs> <laughs> and it happens, it happens to a lot of people. So what was the most difficult part like to, in the first contract? It was like the first months, the first three months. Some people say like the, if you survive the first three months, you already do it, did it. So what was for you? Mm. You have to pass the first man. You have to pass the first man. After you finish your first man, everything gonna be cool. Even, you know how, you know, because my first country was disaster. <laughs> <laughs> my chef, my chef do, don't like me. Okay, he liked me too much, but I don't like this, like. <laughs> <laughs> he liked you too much. <laughs> Yeah, this was the problem. So it's, like, it's like when somebody like you and you don't accept, it's like becoming, you know, like, a, okay, now I will give you more job like this. Some things <laughs> like that. But I think so, this is not only on the ship. This is not supposed to be allowed, but because you don't know what to do and you are too much scared for the job, your first contract, this and that, and all the rules to, that you need to understand. and. That's why I didn't do nothing, not to report or to say something that this guy is giving me like this life. But hard time. Um, <laughs> my hard time of my life. <laughs> and um, after, this is, was also a big story. After that, I just do the job. I just do the job, do the job, and I concentrate. No, 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 no. But I find plenty of friends, and I found also boyfriend. Oh, only only one week you already have boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> You're <not> wasting time. <laughs> yeah, no, and I told you no with my broken heart, and already have boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but this was amazing, you know. This I live with this guy eight years. Yeah, you lasted along with this guy. They, yes. <laughs> yeah, but remember. this is, but it's the same, the same person. Um, I don't have another one until it, now we finished, but this was also good. So this is support you also because you find also friends, you find boyfriend, your <laughs> girlfriend, I don't know. <laughs> and then, you, like. um, <laughs> you also, you learn the you know you learn the ship and the life coming easy now because you have your schedule you know what you have to do now so the life can better and better and better when you see you finish already eight months so tired so tired to work to clean to learn and everything but you come back again even you say this is i do only one time and this I is went my back. last contract. <laughs> when when I start to work, I say, okay, I will do um, travel around the world, and then I will get this money, and then after I will quit. And so now check. Then you just do, have, 
Bermuda New Year's Eve. <laughs> so I <might> travel <laughs> no, around no, no. the world. <laughs> no, 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 no. But in the in the end, after I moved from this ship, no, the first the first uh, country the ship arrived is in Portugal. Oh. When I do my first crossing from from Miami, mm -hmm. and then we arrive in Portugal. And then this day, this day, I remember I post I post a picture in the Facebook. I post a picture when your dream coming true after after long time, long <laughs> long time. <laughs> so you reached Portugal. Then, what what other places did you do already? Um, Portugal, Spain, Norway, um, England, Russia, and Greece. Italy, Malta, Marruecos. Dubai. Did you <laughs> Morocco. Morocco. I Morocco. have to say in English. Morocco, Morocco. Okay. I'm sorry. And then um, the, the best part is when they still go to Asia. Oh my God. Unfortunately, at this time, no coronavirus. <laughs> But I visit Hong Kong. It's very beautiful. The buildings are too tall that you cannot see the sun. And then we visit Philippines, my dream. This is what dream of my life, to know Philippines and India. Wow. Philippines, India, Singapore. This was not in my plan, but Singapore is amazing. It's uh, the other side yes. of the world that you don't know that they they live like this. It's a it's a clean. It's amazing. It's a very so, special culture. They they are Dubai, like... Dubai. Wow! And not one time. Plenty, plenty time. It's like uh, when we are tomorrow. Dubai. Hey, outside, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Dubai. Dubai. <laughs> Again. Hey, we are tomorrow. Dubai. Hey, let's go. <laughs> the, the Dubai is is a beautiful the shopping the Dubai mall and where the people sell the gold. When I been in Thailand, the massage, my God, Thai massage. Oh yes, I know. Very popular. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah, and also um, what else? Um, Malaysia, Malaysia, Myanmar. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Vietnam. Did you go to Vietnam? Ah, sí. yeah, 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 yeah. In Vietnam, I eat this uh, egg that is I have chicken. Oh, oh the century, century <laughs> egg. <laughs> you. <laughs> but it's part of the culture. No, it's like the chicken, the egg inside I still have the oh. small chicken with the bones the baby, and Like the baby chicken, right? Like, yes. yeah, ah. like half chicken. Oh my God, no, it's too much for me. <laughs> And then, and, and this time, I told you I do all this travel around the world. Every time I do one step up for, you know, to be manager. Yeah, so that's, so, that's what I wanted to go for. So you struggle to get on board. You move your way into getting on board. You did your dreams. You did your dreams of traveling the world. But so... Tell us your story on how did you went from a Ford cook to a sous chef? Because a lot of people that wants to apply or they're already working on ships. So sometimes they ask like, so how fast can you move to the next position? Or how do I move to the next position? Because we know that inside sometimes it can be really tough. But there are examples like you that you already a sous chef. Well, um... First, I was thinking, I cannot be for cook all the life because it's too much job, more. And um, plus you don't learn more things. The money is short. It's enough, but it's small salary. So I say, no, I need to apply for something else. I was trying to change my career. Because I can see the other people get more money than me, like doing like a waiter, like sommelier, selling wine, bartender, or plenty, 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 another one. But I think so the contact with the people to me, we are, I, I don't have too much passion, you know, to 
deal with the guests. So to say hello, welcome, and it's too much. Yeah. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it's not your thing. <laughs> thank you very much if you like my food. So I say, no, it's not for me because I need to be very kind. So I will get plenty of money otherwise. <laughs> so I say, no, I will step up for the same for cook. And then um, I asked chef, I asked the chef who is there, no? Give me, I want to apply this, that. Yeah, they told me, you know what? Uh, you need to make some training. I will change you from here to here. And then you have to put this, how to say, these uh, things that the people will teach you. You need to push yourself to learn and also to ha put this time, you know, because Usually, when you make training, you have to use your own time. On board, you have free you free time and you have your hours working. But for example, I will teach you this job here and your break time. These two hours that you have to sleep. If last night you are there drinking, <laughs> pochi, <Rubar>. pochi, pochi. <laughs> the morning you run, you go do your job. But you remember you have to do this if you you know because you want to sleep, you don't do it. Like this, you will never get this, uh, the other step. So I finished this training, everything, and then I apply, and the chef accept. It's like he don't like too much, but he have to do it because the HR is a accept, and then. And, and you did your thing. part, you did your part, you did your training, yeah, did, you were doing uh, everything. Everything, no? so it was like not like, but from there, when I move it forward, I don't ask anymore, nobody. Yes, they give me. So this was very, very, you know, I'm very proud of this because, for example, I get the red scrap, it's second cook, and then this guy say, no, you know, this guy is leaving, then I have to leave you here, for example, in, uh, what's your restaurant? In Bistro. Uh -huh. Bistro on five, then we make crepes and everything. You know? After that, I made a show also. How to make it <laughs> before, before this chef made. The sous chef make he make uh -huh. the demonstration how to make the crafties. After he left, I make, but I'm still, um, you know, second cook. And the chef say, okay, I will give you now green. That is uh, first cook. first cook. So that that was the position that you started looking forward to it, right? First yeah, the, this is what I looking for in the beginning. And so then how did you feel in that say, moment when you received your green scarf? How did you feel? Very, 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 very excited. And you know, but for my first position to, because also this is one more step. To four okay. cook, I didn't make third. I go straight to second. Okay. So you jump from and four they, cook to second cook. To second cook. And then to first and then cook. First cook. And then he, I meet him again, this and that. Then I stay there in the bistro. After that, he left. And then another year coming, another ship. And I meet him again. And he told me, we're going to close this uh, bistro on fire. You will not work here anymore. And then what you going to put here? Sushi on fire. And then I remember. Sushi. I remember. I remember when you told me that story. So they changed the And then the whole I concept. say, okay, from French cuisine, we're going to travel to Japan. <laughs> I don't know anything about the fish. I don't know the name of the fish. I don't know the name of the ingredients. Nothing at all, but I meet Chef Josie, and then Josie Cas Josie Casu Okada. He is my boss and my teacher. I'm very proud for have this kind of experience. You don't know. This guy is teaching me everything how to make sushi from the beginning, and then um um he how to make the rice, what is the name of the fish, how to make sashimi, how the name of the roll, the ingredients. And nothing was on board. The restaurant, they make uh, decoration, everything. All uh -huh. the ingredients come in one by one, and I start to learn all these things. And again, I meet Chef Kenny, and he told me, now you're going to be the CDP here, Chef de party. I give the, need your paper. And I said, what? <laughs> but I didn't uh, ask for it. No, no, I don't need, I'm scared because, you know, to be chef the party on board is very hard. 
you coming to get more responsibility, more this, more that, but also you get a little bit more money. And also you know, also you know what you get, you get respect. Yes. Every time you change the, the this graph, you get respect. And then you say, okay, now I will, I will do it because I already in charge here. He gave me the opportunity to learn this one. So I will do it. I will do it. And then I put the papers there and he gave me. So he gave me the chef de party now. Now I'm chef de party. Very fast. This oh, yeah. from the from the second cook. This was a little bit longer than first cook, then very fast CDP. And then only two years with CDP. And then I meet my boss, another boss, another chef. Another disaster. <laughs> <laughs> because every time you change the ship, the concept supposed to be should be the same, but everybody have different expect expectatives about the what they want. So okay, now I go to I already finished summit constellation and now I'm silhouette. Wow. I meet chef, my executive chef, uh, he's from Panama, Victor. Victor. And he, yeah, I meet him before in my way, you know, because the chef coming and go, coming and go. So he was also not executive chef. He was a sous chef, something like that. But now I meet him, he's executive chef. And then he told me who give you this position and now the problem is start and i say oh maybe i'm not ready no i'm gonna put you here in the ocean view cafe and then you are in charge of all deck 14. Wow. you know deck 14 is big and you have everything there breakfast lunch and dinner you divide the galley deck 14 and deck 12. they put me deck 12 and then every day i have to run to deck 14 to check and then I have to cap down and like this, like this, no? But like my friends say, I make my own schedule. <laughs> <laughs> because at this time, you know, you, your life changes because you have more things to do, more responsibility, this and that, and you have to adjust yourself. So I will do this. And I cry like 15 days. And this is going to be like my sixth contract. Okay. And I was crying, uh -huh. like, uh, you know, I will not do this, I will not. I tell chef, chef, you don't take out me from here, I will go home. Oh, uh -huh. no, I don't know, put me on the crew, so I don't know. <laughs> but he say, Norma, stop crying. You, you have to do that. You have to do it. You do that, blah, 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 blah. And I do. Finally. Ah. Then when he accept to me, no? Yes. Okay, this uh, next week, I will put you back in the sushi. You like? And I was my face like, now what I did? <laughs> you asked me to do a great job. Now I do it a great job. So what now you change me? <laughs> it's like, uh, you know? No, because you know what? Uh, because you asked me for, now I need you there. Okay. After that, my supervisor coming, no, the one in charge, the black scarf there. Not exactly, no, because except. Norma, do you ask to go from here? And I say, no. Now you know everything here. Now he wants to change me, but now I will call him. And then he take the phone. Victor, why you change Norma? I need Norma here. And it's like they are fighting for me. And this was <laughs> like, uh, wow. <laughs> this is when you are on the top. On the top of because your game. The people need you. They need you here, they need you there, and this is very good. Because there is some people on board that even they give you, you don't want to take. Exactly, yes. It's like I say, I don't need. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave me where I am. <laughs> Let me, I, I'm like this, I'm okay. But they are like this, and then in the end, I stay there. Okay. In the 14th. And then I realized plenty, plenty dreams also there because Chef Victor is amazing chef and he, he gave me opportunity to make my own and to show him. Okay. 
that I can do this now. For example, in the Mexican buffet, I need this all Mexican, all normal. No, I don't want to see quesadilla, burrito. Okay, this one you put in the corner. But in the end, show me what you can do. And then, no problem. It's like you work with passion because you will make your food and you will give the people. And then wow. I call my chef. Mommy, can you give me how you made this, this, this? <laughs> <laughs> so really, now you really, were teaching I, them how to do the, how to cook. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, but uh, first, for me, I call my mom and I say, Mommy, can you... Uh, uh, you call your mom to ask for recipe. Yeah, can you <laughs> ask me this, assist me this recipe? And then I make barbacoa, frijoles con puerco, I make pipián. Mm -hmm. And I make bisteces a la mexicana and chilaquiles, plenty, plenty, plenty. And all, all of the cafe we put in my college. Um, Jesus, his name, he's okay. 72 years old. 72. Wow. 72. <laughs> he was my partner. And he, he was with me in deck 12. I'm CDP and he's first cook. All right. And he had to assist me from Mexico. And he don't want to teach me. That's why I was crying. Oh, wow. Because he don't want me to be the boss. He want to be the boss. Okay. So what and, I and do... That happens. That happens sometimes. Like Because, because you are young and he's very old. And then I, I, I told you, no, I do my skate. Then I tell chef, chef, you put him. In deck 12, and then I mean deck 14, and I stay here down, and the problem is gonna be finished. And yes, this was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> problem solved. <laughs> you will, you will never, uh, you know, I will never with to manage this man. He's more old than me. He knows the ship for all the life. How many years he worked in the company? 30 from yeah. Apollo. Yeah. And then that's why, no? But in the end, he would come in my, my friend, no more fine or nothing. And then when we make like this, I told you, you know, this uh, Mexican, Mexican buffet, buffet, he put him park. The rice, the Mexican rice and everything he make in upstairs in the vegetable. And we make calabacita, everything, everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, this uh, comida correcta. <laughs> it's like that right now for them. And then after that, um, Chef go, I go vacation, I come back all again in silhouette and I meet Mr. Chef. Oh my God. <laughs> I come, he put me in the sushi again. Can you handle the Lounge Club Grill? This is another restaurant, Steakhouse. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You put me whatever you want and whatever I can do, you know, ladies, ladies. But this chef was very strict. And then he gave me a promotion for sous chef, very fast also. I just waiting for two months. And I handled this restaurant with almost 120 covers, covers per day. Plus in the day at sea we have lunch. And it's, it's, it's difficult. Everything is difficult when you don't know what to do. You already there, no? And they also, the people don't want to um, show you what they are doing. Now I learned this. Now I will not ask anymore. I just come closer. I learned. <laughs> <laughs> the, you know, the cooking point for the meat is hard to get it in the beginning because the kind of the meat are you cooking meat that you never cooked before? Mm -hmm. For example, the uh, lamb, lamb chops. The, for example, I never cook this uh, shrimp and scallop in the square. So when you put in the grill, you need to know how to do it. Otherwise, you will break all and then one missing, one losing, and everybody order this thing. But I handle it. And then after I finish one contract again, and he give, he give me plenty. I don't know if I hit him or, or what. You know, you know it's, the it's a hate love relationship. The, no, in the before after in the I finished my contract, I report him. When I finish my contract, he left, I report him. I go in the HR, I cry there, like because I te, I tell that he's very rude with me, he calling me all the time and fighting with me and this and this and that. No, he uh, 
plenty, plenty things I don't know. You know, I was, he saw me in the crew mess. I was sit, he passed by, coming to check the line, the crew mess. Like, he's from Jamaica. Very old, also chef. Mm -hmm. And then he saw me then, and then he go my station. He called me. Can you come here now? Now, he just saw me sitting, eating. So you need to have some respect, you know, some, at least calculate how long I'm going to take, maybe 20 minutes, no? No, right away he take the elevator, he go there and he call me. And it's almost every day. And then if I go in my cabin, I go toilet and he say, Norma, where are you? No, I'm in the toilet. Really? It's like, uh, he say, like, answer me like this, really? And then it's like your stomach is like burning, no? Because you, so you, I cannot go to the toilet. <laughs> and things like this that you have to support, but you already have the position. This the position is already for sous chef. And then I cry again because I cannot go outside now. I disaster. Now mm -hmm. my life changed. Before, when you are for cook or you know have plenty responsibilities, okay? Yes. You have free time all the time. You can go outside anytime this, this, that. But now my position is changed. So if anything happened on my place that they give me, they need to know where I am. If I am outside, I need to say that I'm going outside. And I don't like it. Also, if they give you phone, they can call you anytime. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? Yes. I... And also, this, this is a, the phone is a privilege, but it's for working. Yes. So they can call you anytime. You're but it's nice to have phone, no? Because you, they, anybody can call you, no? They can find you. Like you have by your cell phone, no? Exactly. Now the things uh, change a little bit because now in the ship now are free WhatsApp for message uh -huh. so you have connection all the time even between your college you can get you know exactly i don't know if this will, will be like this but you know when you get sous chef your life changes and this is something that in the end my boyfriend was helping me a lot because i i get very upset because i tell him i cannot go outside and he go but i i'm upset because he go and then he <laughs> told me you don't need to be upset with me because I don't have job, that's why I go. But you have another job, that's why you cannot go. But you know, because you don't understand, because you are upset and struggling and everything. No? Then I cry, okay. cry again. You know, the, my life in the ship, plenty cry. <laughs> <laughs> but you, but did, you did a lot already. Like, so yeah. just, just, to, just to summarize, so... You, you had your parents and your family help to join on board. You did struggle because you went for a first interview, then kicked, second interview, accepted. You did the whole thing. You, became, you, you, did, uh, you reached your dreams, so you traveled the world. And then you started to build up your career and you started from four cook, now you're a sous chef. So now my question is like, what did your parents, like, what did your family say, like, after they were, like, in the doubt, like, maybe having doubts if this was real and you were going to make it? So what do they think now that you are a sous chef and you have, like, a different life? Well, it's like, uh, you know, they don't realize what I do because they cannot see me, okay. you know? They, they never see me with the uniform, this and that. Only this time when my brother, after a long time, I tried to bring my family on board and I did in a Cozumel. Um, I bring my brother and my nephew and I show them the age that is a new ship. Yeah. It's amazing. And then my brother was, was uh, you know, surprised. He don't believe it's like, a, no, and, I have one restaurant now in uh, this uh, how to say H class. Uh -huh. Now I become again bistro, but the concept is different and it's um, new menu, new management, everything is very nice, you know. And already working in H, I'm already working this um, this time. 
and I invite him to eat the food. I put everything on the table, no? And then it's like, uh, he, and I thought, he was, they was eating bread, like never tomorrow, like with the cheese and everything. And I thought, no, don't eat all the bread because the food can be plenty. <laughs> oh, no. We think that it's only the soup. No, I give everything, all the menu. Lobster, bees, charcuterie board, uh, you know, sivas, sivas double for wow. each. <laughs> one, is take, one is take, you know, one is take to, to share, then how to, ah, uh, onion soup, plenty, plenty, this plenty that they cannot eat anymore. And then, you know, they have one, uh, how to say, display for the desserts. Uh-huh. Like the dessert and some, menu? Um, Buffet? French, French pastry. Oh. Okay. Uh, French pastry and uh, also tarts and all this. Uh, all day show like this. I take and I put in the middle also. And this day, the restaurant was full and me with the uniform inside. I didn't eat with them, but the inside the galley, my voice, you can hear my voice uh, from very far. <laughs> give me this, give me that, give me this. <laughs> And when I go outside to tell them, hey, let's go. And then he told me, oh, my God, I can see how you shouted. You are very busy. <laughs> and then I say, yeah. But this this, this time, uh, when he saw my father, he told, he told him. No. And my father also, he was a uh, army, okay. retired for the army. Now he lives in the ranch, okay. uh, far, far from here, from the city. But I got to visit him and he had my picture there in the wall. I didn't know. And then I see, from where he get this picture? It's from the Facebook. From Facebook. <laughs> yeah, he, he don't allow and then he print and he put in the wall. Then wow. he said, wait, I, did, I never give a picture. So that's mean. He don't say nothing, but this is mean that, uh, you know, he is like, he's very he proud. showed the, he's that very he's proud, proud, of, proud of me. Because the pictures are with uniform. Wow. That pictures are with uniform. That's why okay, I think, I'm, I'm because crying. I didn't give. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're sorry. You know, <laughs> I, I tell you, no, I didn't give him. And I say, well, and my imam is very, you know, very, how to say, how to say in English. Uh, what? Your mom? Thanks. No, how to say, agradecida. She's very grateful. grateful. Yeah. She's very grateful with me because um, totally I help her for everything. She's not work anymore and my father and my mother divorced. So she lived there with another family and she's here. Um, another house I make in the other. I, I can say now I make another house there because of this job. Of course. And then, yeah. and yes, it's true. And I take out her from where she lived, that this was very, very already old and falling down. And I put her in a new one. And for that, and everything I put there by myself because nobody is helping me, but it's okay because I can do that, right? But that's, all these things. That's such an amazing story. Like. Yeah, this is like, a, you know, I am unbelievable. <laughs> Then I go inside my new new mom house. It's sm small. It's only little room, but you know. And I say, "I the floor is my better than in my house." <laughs> 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 of course, because it's just new, no, it's shady. <laughs> I say, "Yeah, yeah." yeah. <laughs> and all this, and I don't know. No, and for my, I have sisters, my niece, and uh, all the time, no. And my friends, I now in this time. Here in Veracruz, it's like I have a small groups of friends because I don't live here anymore, right? All the time you are on the ship. So almost all your friends are like you or, you know, people that you chat like this, no? And sometimes, but they are very proud, I think so, that also that I am their friends because always they, no, she's chef and she work in the cruise. And, like, <laughs> and me, I'm like, my face like, yeah, but the way you need to tell and this and that, no? Because to work in the ship is not something that you know somebody to work in the ship. Like, uh, she 
you work in the hotel. Ah, sí, I know plenty of people working in the hotel, but you don't know plenty of people working in the ships. On the ships, no. And it's Here not easy. In, and it's not an easy job. Not easy. And I know so also plenty of people, they get the job on board and they resign. They cannot resist because it's not easy. All my history and what to say, it's easy now to say, but it's hard to maintain your life there because you need to learn how to live there. You need to learn the rules and then you will be successful because if you know, follow the rules, you need to be plenty lucky. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't follow the rules, be lucky then. <laughs> be lucky, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because people, you know, I know people on board that they working for 20 years, 25 years, for 15 years, like this, and they still, and they will come back. <laughs> because once the time you, I think so, I planning to leave the ship, but now I don't know. Check, I have two months, and I know in two months I will not work. Maybe, and I will maybe five months this time without work. And it's oh no, I don't want to work here. <laughs> I don't even want to look for a job. <laughs> no, um, because your life changes. Your life changes. Yeah, it becomes completely. What do you different. think? <laughs> I, it does change. It does change. That's a, another story. But so your story is amazing. I, I think like I'm a proud friend, like to have you in my life. Just to hear the story, like my voice is cracking. <laughs> but, but that's what that's the point of these conversations. Like I want to share with others that mm -hmm. this is possible. And I will Say again what you said in the beginning. It looks like it's it, like it's impossible. very difficult, but it's yeah. possible if yeah, you find possible. the ways, if you know the rules, and if you follow your dreams. Yeah, I always need to follow your dreams. Never, never. And I will plan. Maybe I will apply for. I am now. My position is junior sous chef. Okay. So I will apply for sous chef this time when I go back when they come. I already, this time I asked, no, my supervisor, not my supervisor, I asked this guy coming from Miami, okay. traveling, traveling chef, I asked, chef, what is the difference between junior to chef and to chef? No, it's not too much, it's the same. Just so the I do all, <laughs> <laughs> so I say, chef, but I'm already doing the job, so why you not give me to chef? Apply. <laughs> <laughs> and then I say, okay, um, I will apply when I come back. And then he said, yeah, 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 uh, I will sign for you. This is this is chef, this is traveling chef. It's not the executive. From the office, right? So it's good. Office. Yeah, it's good because he need to approve. Exactly. When the executive chef, he need to approve. So I will do my next step. And then if I'm lucky, and successful, maybe I will do another one step, I don't know. <laughs> but it's very complicated and very hard to check. When you go back to the ship or when it's your first time, this is what you have to put in your in your head. I will do this job. I will do this job. <laughs> and that's it. And you will do it. You You need to finish this job because and then, you know, then you think back about how do you live now uh, when you go back home. For example, now, like this. So when I go back, my first two months, I'm very, how to say, full power and, you know, very passionate and I try to do everything. After that, I'm boring and then I start to, you know, everything. <laughs> because in the beginning, when you come back, everything you need to learn again. Exactly. Everything you need to learn again, and you you lose the you know this uh, activity what you have every day. To, 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 every day, you know, my life. I wake up seven thirty, no eight o'clock. I wake up eight, and then I start to work nine. Okay. 
I finish two o'clock, I come back for four thirty. Mm -hmm. First, after four forty-five, after five o'clock, after five fifteen. This is the you know the more and that's it. And then after I finish in the night ten o'clock, I check everything, everything clean, everybody left, and then I go take shower. Cabina and that didn't change like uh no because they make a big party last night and tomorrow we will not go to work early. No, this is your problem. Exactly. The party if you want to go, they put for everybody if you want to go or not, but you know what you have to do tomorrow. That's but very anyway, true. you that's very true. And every day there is one party. Every day one party. Latin party, Indian party, Mauritian party, <laughs> Indonesian party, Greek party, a so machina. It's, you know, it's like, uh, you no, no, you, you put yourself like you know, like a like party. <laughs> party. Like a like party. No? And for everything, there is a celebration. Celebration, I even don't know. Man. Sometimes, you know, you know, my boyfriend, he was from Mauricio, he told me, you know what, in the ship, they celebrate more bigger the Independence Day than in Mauricio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Very good times. Very good times. <laughs> yeah, very, very good times. So this is uh, my ship life. I hope that uh, it's going to be, if somebody want to know how is how is um, the way to get the job and how is the life there they this uh, video help for something i'm sure I'm, <laughs> I'm sure that this will reach to somebody i think your story is really relatable for a lot of us and i really appreciate your time thank you very much i'm very grateful to have you in my life as a friend uh, and i think you are someone to look up to Gracias. So, thank you very much.